Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome back to Train Simulator. We're here on the Feather River route. We're going to be taking a shortcut of cars from Crescent Mills to the siding at Ketty. It's a very short route, or a very short scenario. Although snow is falling in the mountains, the weather shouldn't cause you any issues. You're clear to proceed when ready. Now, I just got finished actually doing this scenario. We'll be using these F units. And I'm very glad I got this route for these F units because a lot of repaints are available for these. So, pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. We got our caboose. So it's just a shortcut of boxcars, ready to proceed anytime. Release the brake, hit the bell, and off we go. It's the exact opposite of what the weather is outside today. But I love using F units. I think they're fantastic old locomotives. It's just a shame the standard Feather River route only Feather River, excuse me, only comes with one scenario for the F7s, and it's this one. I'm gonna have to find some workshop scenarios and later on get the scenario pack. Alright, now we're gonna hit up to 40. Crank it up a bit. As you can see, we only have... We've actually exhausted quite a bit of our fuel. But, don't worry, you won't come near, anywhere near to running out of fuel. In this scenario. I don't need to keep the wipers on the whole time, I just keep them on when it looks like there's going to be trouble with the snow. So Feather River, or Feather River is in California side of California that actually gets snow. So that's interesting. And this route is now currently operated by the Union Pacific. They absorb the Western Pacific, I believe. Either absorbed or bought out. I'll check in just a minute here. Oh, it was bought in 1982 by UP. They have a really cool heritage unit that has two of their paint schemes merged into one. I think it's really cool. Throttle down here. Majority of this trip, we should be going at least 25 miles an hour. This is the only real speed section here. In fact, at some point, I'm going to actually be using my dynamics here.
That snow's a coming down. Not too hard, though. So we don't have a whole lot to worry about. Nice shot of our train here. Throttle up just a little bit. I'm gonna go through a series of tunnels on this line. I'll try to show off at least one or two of them. I don't know if I'll be able to show off all of them. You can see we don't have very far to go. Only uh, six miles. That is not far. You see, once we pass this moccasin track south, moccasin track one south, the road starts to crest a bit, and I think that's when I'm going to start putting on dynamics, because the mixture of the grade and the snow, you start to accelerate real quickly. And the first time I did this scenario, I lost a ton of points because I was speeding. So I'm going to try to avoid that here, if at all possible. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Today is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. Ooh, nice timeliness bonus. Not too much train activity going on in my area currently. I haven't heard any horns. I think most of the H30 moves have been done for the week. And there we go. 1%. Off the wipers for a minute so you guys don't get driven crazy. Just a little bit of throttle to get her over the crest. But yeah, it's been a pretty relaxing weekend, not a whole lot of train activity. I spend most of my time on virtual rail fans, just kind of seeing what's going on around the country. But not a whole lot in my area. There were a couple moves this week, but they were at weird times, so I really couldn't get out to catch anything. And other than that, just been playing this, playing other video games, and... Just taking it easy. Trying to stay positive during these very interesting times. There's a lot going on in our world. Alright, here's where I'm going to want to start applying dynamics. You can see the speed's climbing now, even though the throttle is down to zero. Very nice. And lower and raise them as needed. I'll be honest, I don't know if the F7s actually had dynamic brakes at this point. Maybe they did.
coming up on our first tunnel here. I think this snow scenery is actually pretty cool. I would like to do other scenarios with this locomotive, but like I said before, I'm going to have to actually get more. It's a single track main for a couple miles here, and then eventually we'll hit our destination, which is a yard. Actually, I need to turn the volume down for myself so I don't end up speaking too loudly here. There we go, that's a little better. You can see I'm just slowly going up and down with the dynamics and trying to keep it within a solid range and not go over and lose points. That tunnel should be coming up at any second now. Once we clear it, then I'm going to make a cut to when we're closer to our destination. Actually, you know what? I might not even have to cut at all in this video. It's just a short run. Why not just show you guys the whole thing? Alright, first tunnel. the wipers a little bit here. Lower the dynamics a little. It's amazing what gravity can do. There seems to be a good spot where it'll hold it at 25. The question is, how long will it hold it at 25? Yep, not for very long, I guess. Well, this is really nice scenery. It's kind of... It reminds me a lot of Donner Pass. But this is the only scenario I've done, so I have yet to do any of the others where the scenery really opens up. But so far, this section of track, I really, really like it. Got a small siding over there. We're green to go. I think we're green. That might be yellow. Uh, it's, uh... Yeah, it looks like it's yellow. That is yellow. Now it's red. Now I don't know what time period this is set in. I would imagine it's the early 70s. Early to mid 70s. 
If they're still using F units, then it would have to be the early 70s, I would imagine. Possibly the mid-60s. We're going to hit a point here where we can only go 10 miles an hour, which is kind of frustrating, but... you got to do it safe. Already I'm going way faster than I was in the first time I did this scenario, so that's good. And yes, I know the tracks are a bit noisy, but what are you going to do? That's railroading. Lickety-clack of the railroad tracks. The grade isn't nearly as steep here. So I can probably turn off the dynamics for now. In fact, I'm actually losing speed. Because it's dropped down to a 0.6% grade. As opposed, to, as opposed to the 1% that we were at. There's the 10 miles an hour. So I gotta start getting ready to brake for that. That'll be where things feel slow. I think the reason we're going 10 miles an hour is because we're going to have a trestle and then after this trestle we're going to have a tunnel that's very sharply curved. It's a short tunnel, you can see it on the little chart there, but it's a pretty sharp curve, so... But then it picks up to 25 again. Although I think that's a little bit of misinformation because the last time I went over it, it said 25 at that marker, but then it didn't change from 10. So I don't know if it's a glitch or what the situation is. You'll have to let me know if you've played this scenario at all. Let me know. Like I've said in previous videos, I'm not a huge fan of downhill type scenarios, but I can tolerate them. As long as I get to where I need to go within a reasonable period of time. Just really don't want to speed here. miles an hour. Now I can just kind of use the throttle to control where I'm at. It's kind of a weird speed limit, but... I mean, I'd expect it for something like a yard, but just for mainline track, it's really weird. 
Horseshoe Curves limit is about 30, if I remember correctly. Usually with the speed limit, you can go about at it, but you can't go over it. Then you start getting penalized and losing points. It'll be interesting to see what happens here because we have it set to, or rather the game has it set to where the next speed marker is 25. The last time I cleared it, it didn't go to 25. The reason I keep throttling up just a little bit is just to keep the train moving at a decent pace. Making better time that way. to finish this video in under 30 minutes, but I don't know if that's going to happen. You only have two more points to go. So this is a fun little scenario, really. Yeah, see, it didn't change, even though we passed that marker. And see, if I try doing that, I'm speeding. So, what the heck, game? I do not understand it. Because, I mean, you all saw it. It clearly said 25. Alright, you know what, for the sake of uploading, I am going to actually cut it here until we get closer to our final destination, so I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. Okay, and we're back! And we're almost at our destination. We're basically at the yard, but we need to go down to the third track. Keddy Lower Track 3. Oh my golly! Um, uh, what? The heck? Oh, my. I tell you what, guys, these videos have not been ending well for me. How in the heck did we derail? Ah, uh, well, I guess thank you very much for watching. I'm okay, I think. And I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll have a video here where we actually finish. I mean, good grief. So, see you guys on the high iron next time. This has been Orange Cactus Productions. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.